hinted on the issue of political interference. Um, IBC officials have also um, expressed their fears uh, for their families and really for themselves. What is your addition on that? And also still on the matter of security, we saw the UK and the US say that they will help when it comes to investigations of Msando, um, the former ICT um, head at IEBC. Where is that and so far how have you come with that? So with, with respect to um, political interference in the IABC, I want to make clear that it, it is, from our perspective, not acceptable to have political interference in the operations of the IABC. Um, I think both sides have uh, taken, thing, taken steps, taken actions, done things from time to time, um, which uh, are of concern. And I would just underscore, as I said during the statement, that uh, it should cease. It is critically important that this institution, and indeed all of Kenya's institutions, the judiciary, everybody, be protected so that professionals can do their jobs, carry out the laws, carry out their tasks and their missions without interference. Undermining these institutions fundamentally undermines democracy. And so it really is very, very important that they be permitted to do their jobs, that they be protected, that they not be attacked. Um, and we have offered assistance um, on things like the Christmas Ando's death. You'll have to ask the Kenyan government about the question of progress in, in uh, bringing uh, a prosecution against someone. We do hope in the very near future that something will happen. We would certainly urge rapid action because murder it's absolutely unacceptable, and um, people need to be prosecuted and held to account when they when they do that. Colleagues, please. Is it technically? Thank you. Is it technically possible to hold a credible election on Thursday as scheduled? And if it is, and we're talking about an issue of political credibility, where does the answer to that question come from? Uh, the, embedded in that is the idea: Do you think it's possible to, to hold a politically credible election on Thursday? But who does one look to for political credibility as um, institutions are fracturing on the question? So, I mean, again, I, I would just underscore that there is plainly a a constitution here, and, and there's a plainly a legal process that's available to anyone who has concerns about either technical or political issues around this election, and that's the proper place for these decisions to be made. You know, I, I'm not a technical expert on elections. I can tell you the IABC, as I said, has done quite a number of things, everything from some, taking some steps to improve results transmission to better training for officers, um, poll agents, and the like. Um, and changes in personnel. So they've done a number of things to improve the technical process. I th and the IEBC is the place to get the answer. Certainly Wafula Chabukate and his colleagues are the place to get the answer about whether or not they feel technically prepared. Uh, I would say the bigger issue and the bigger challenge is on the political front. That's where there is a real question mark around this election. And um, it's a serious one, and, and fundamentally it's one that the Kenyan 